How is it going everyone? A very warm welcome to my channel and in this video series I'll make you comfortable with Flutter. Flutter is an offering from Google and it is used to create Android and iOS application with same code base. When I say same code base, 99.9% .9 of the time it's the same code. Even if there is some differences between Android and iOS, they are extremely minimal and handled with ease. So in this particular video, I will talk about what are widgets and how you can use them. So go to flutter.io, download the SDK, install it and please also download the latest Android Studio and install the plugin called Flutter. We will go ahead and see the code. So once you have installed Flutter in your system, it's a good idea to check whether the installation has went successfully or not. To check your installation, just type Flutter Doctor. This will go ahead, check your system and report if it find any inconsistency in your installation. So as you can see the output that it looks fine in my system. It complains about VS code being of an older version but I'm gonna use Android Studio so it doesn't matter as of now. So let me go ahead, open Android Studio and create a Flutter project. Now here is my Android Studio and you will see an option called Start a new Flutter project. If you don't see this option, go to Configure, Plugins and install the Flutter plugin. Once you install and restart, you will see this option. So let me go ahead and create a new Flutter project. I want to create a Flutter application and I leave the default setting as it is. I will set the package name as my own domain and I'll click finish. You can enable this Kotlin and Swift support. Uh, that is required if you want to do platform specific changes. That is not to be the case in my simple application which I'm gonna do right now. That's why I didn't check that. Okay, so once you create a Flutter application, it will come up with a default Flutter application. This is similar to a kind of Hello World but fully functional Flutter application. You can check the code in an iPhone simulator or in an Android simulator. As you can see that I have already opened an iPhone simulator. Let me go ahead and run this code and see what this displays. So as soon as I run this code, it will compile the code and copy my app into my simulator and launches the app. So here is the default Flutter application which comes with Flutter. If I just click plus, it will increment the counter to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So let me go ahead and close that. So to understand Flutter, what I will do that I'll remove all the code that comes by default. Now this is my main function and this is my first widget that will be loaded when my Flutter application runs. Now what is a widget? It's very important to understand the idea and concept behind widget. Everything in Flutter is a widget. Whether you are talking about an icon, color or text area or a screen layout, everything is a widget. For example, whatever is being displayed right now is a widget and some widgets are having container properties which means that these widgets can contain another widgets inside them. For example, if I consider this particular area as a widget, it can be called as a container widget because it contains two widgets inside it. So once the Flutter application starts running, it loads the widget. And at this point of time, it is trying to load my app widget. I will go ahead and create a class called my app. And to qualify this class to be a widget, I need to extend it either by a stateless widget or a stateful widget. We will go ahead with a stateless widget in this video. I will talk about stateful widgets in next video. Okay, so here is my widget class. But since I am extending from a stateless widget, I need to override a specific function which is the so-called creator function of this widget and it's called build. It returns a widget, build, takes a build context. Okay, so whenever this widget is created by Flutter, it calls the build function and output of this build function determines what will be displayed onto the screen. For example, I can simply say that return new text widget, which says hello Flutter. 
this is a valid code but this code will not work because this text widget is not a container widget so whenever the build function is called it expects at least one container widget text widget is a child widget and doesn't possesses the capability of including another widget inside it so it's not a container widget so i can create a container widget uh, like directionality which sets the text direction so instead i can say return new directionality and it takes two properties text direction and child okay so what i can do is that in the child i can say new text hello flutter i don't need return now because i am not returning from a function i am setting the property and in text direction i can say text direction dot left to right ltr is left to right for the built in properties and value you will see a pattern that the properties starts with lower case and the classes are declared with upper case okay so most of the time these names will be same with the only difference of lower case or upper case and here is the child so basically directionality is my container widget which will be displayed once this app is loaded and the child will be text widget now let me go ahead and run my code now you can see that hello flutter is written somewhere here at the top okay uh, since it is not visible i can say slash n slash n for new line and do a hot reload and you can see that hello flutter comes down now okay but what if i want to display hello flutter in the center of the screen i cannot do slash n slash t because it depends upon the screen size as well as the resolution so i can use another container widget which is called center so in the child instead of new text i can say new center in the center child i'll give my text as hello flutter now i don't need slash n and if i go ahead and do a hot reload you can see that hello flutter comes exactly at the middle so this is the way flutter works so every class is a widget and it calls a build function to draw the widget and in this particular build function the topmost container element is directionality which decides the text direction and this widget contains a child widget center which also contains a child widget called text and we can give this hierarchy of widgets one after another in our program so this is the way you create a stateless widget and display it onto a screen so when you create a mobile app it's unlikely that you just want to display some text basically every mobile app comes with a gui let's see how we can create the gui in flutter but before that in the new flutter the new keyword is optional so i don't need to put this new keyword every time i can just write the name of the widget and the end result will be same basically it just cleans up the code you can still write new but that's an optional thing right now okay now let me get rid of this when you want to create a layout or a gui where a top bar is there and a body is there so the way to create it is by using a material app so i can just create a material app remember you can write new material app over here or you can skip new okay now this is my material app and i want to just set a title as let's say hello flutter okay now there is something called home in home we want to create a header a top bar and a body it can be created by scaffold um, new is optional so i can just use scaffold in scaffold there is something called app bar in app bar i can create a app bar uh, with just title there are multiple options title will take a text widget i'll say again hello flutter okay and after the app bar i can create a body and in body also i'll just display a text called uh, welcome to learning flutter that is it if i go ahead and do a hot reload you can see that i have my gui application up and running now what i did i created a material app 
a material design there are various options with material design don't worry i'll go through each one of them in my later videos i just gave a title in the home this is the place where actually material design takes place in the home i am creating a scaffold with app bar and body in the app bar this is my app bar i am giving a title as hello flutter i can give some options menu bar many other things and in body i am creating a text again this welcome to learning flutter is exactly on the top and if i want to put it on the center of the body what should i do you guessed it right i'll create a new widget called center in the center child i'll give this text widget and i'll go ahead and do a hot reload it comes exactly at the center these things are fine but with the child i can use only one widget what if i want to use multiple widget because let's face it in a real world application there will be cases where i am displaying multiple widgets so in those cases we need to use a widget which can actually take array of widget so one such widget is column so i can change center to column and the widget which takes multiple widgets as display input they take children's and they take array of widgets so i can just put let's say three text widget and you can see that learning flutter is displayed three times i can display multiple widgets in here there is no limitation i can also put row wise row is also a container widget which just takes multiple widget so you can see that welcome to learning flutter is arranged row wise okay i'll tell you what is the meaning of this in some later video because it will be complicated as of now so let's use column as of now okay so this is the way i am displaying multiple widgets now the last thing which i want to talk about in this video is that how to pass widgets as a parameter to the instantiating class so look what i am doing in my run app i am creating the instance of my app new my app since new keyword is optional so i am not using that so this is my my app widget what i can do over here is that i can also create a widget over here called disp widget and pass it a text let's say past widget i would like to do that because there is no difference between my app widget or material app widget if material app or a scaffold can take a parameter so do my own widget so to make it available what i should do is that i should create a constructor in my class how will i create my constructor so i'll do my app constructor contains the same name as of the class bracket inside the curly braces this dot this widget so this is the parameter i am taking as part of the widget and this disp widgets must be defined in my class as final so i say final widget disp widget that's all okay now i can just display this widget over here now if i go ahead and do a hot reload you can see that it is giving me an error i deliberately wanted to show you this because you know what hot reload functionality works fine unless you change some specific layout or behaviors of the classes i am still not able to decode what leads to this situation but in this kind of scenarios i need to reload my application so i'll just close this application and run it again now you can see that past widget is displayed over here so that's the way we can create our own custom widget and pass it over the class on which we are instantiating okay then so that's all about this particular video just go ahead do some permutation and combination try out something and in next video i will talk more about these widgets and also about how to create a stateful widget and what is the difference between a stateless and a stateful widget so thanks a lot guys thanks for watching please take a moment to like comment share and subscribe thank you thanks a lot